Look at this website. Not bad, but we can do better like this. And I mean much, much better. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your WordPress website to the next level with vibrant, impactful and animated backgrounds. And I will show you how you can get similar images without even leaving your room. Now, what about this website? Uh, not bad, but once again, we can do way better. Like this yummy strawberry and the yogurt pouring on top. Honestly, tell me you don't want to taste this strawberry right now. You liar. You know, you want it. Now, you may be saying, yes, but what about when the subject is a person? Well, that works too. Take a look at this website, Lisa Dreadlock Salon. Now, you see this and like, oh, okay. And then you see this and you're like, okay. And if you want to see what I'd look like with dreadlocks, here it is. Yeah, and don't laugh. I, I, saw, I saw you. you. Yes, you. I saw you laughing. Hey, I'm Kay from Brainstorm Force, and today I want to share you a simple technique when it comes to creating stunning websites that your website visitors won't want to leave. People usually land on your homepage, and in modern web design, the first thing they see is a hero section. And the hero section is the first main section visible on your page. And the thing is, you only get one chance to make a first good impression, and you have approximately two seconds to convince your visitors to stay. So the first thing to do, and I think you notice it in the examples I show you, is that we need to simplify and make our hero section vibrant or more eye candy if you want another way of saying it. So let's take the banana example. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with Elementor, but if you're using the WordPress editor, it's the same principles. So if you get any value out of this, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Now, when it comes to getting these type of videos, you get three options. The first one is to make your own or to get it from a professional. It's probably the best, but it can be quite costly and take some time. And if you're watching this video, something tells me you want another solution. And that takes me to solution number two, stock databases, like Envato Elements, for example. So here I just type some keywords. I got this video, this one looks nice, and this one, and this, it's like perfect for what I want. So you could just pay for your subscription and then download the video with all the rights to use it commercially and voila. But that takes me to solution number three. Maybe you want something more specific or like in this example, maybe you want a similar scene, but this time with a perfectly loopable video. So in that case, a little tip, if you're on the stock database website here, for example, I can just copy this description and then I go to an image generator. Now it doesn't really matter which image generator. There are plenty, some are free, some are paid. Your mileage may vary. In my case, I like using Mid Journey. So I just went there and just literally pasted that description. Then I got a few of these images. I did a few iterations until I had the one I liked. And then still in Mid Journey, I turned it into a video. And I believe that the final winner was this one. Now, in my case, I think the best of both worlds is to mix the two models. If you can take the pictures yourself or get someone to give you like one picture of the subject, and then you can use AI to enhance it and animate it. Now, I use the same technique for our banana, so exactly the same technique. And eventually, I ended up with this video here. So once you get your video, you can go back to WordPress admin, then go to media, and then you can just click on add media file, or you can just drag and drop your videos here. So this is my video and I'm just going to copy the URL. Next in WordPress admin, let's create a new page, then give it a name. Let's call it bananas. Click the eye icon to hide the title and hit publish, publish one more time. And next click on edit with Elementor. Next, because I'm using the free WordPress Astra theme, I click on the Astra icon to go to the settings, then scroll down and where you see transparent header, click on enabled. And as the name suggests, this is so we have a transparent header. Next, let me click on the plus sign and add a Flexbox layout. I'm going to select the structure and I'm going to change the content width to full width. And where you see minimum height, I'm going to change the unit to VH and give it a value of 100. So now it's full page. Next, I'm going to justify content in the center and align items in the center. Next, let's go to advanced and we're just going to give it some padding all around. 
Then let's go in mobile mode and let's change it to 20 pixels all around. All right, let's go back to desktop. Then I'm going to style and we're going to add a background. So we want to add a video background, but before we can add the video, we're going to add a background fallback. It's an image so that even before the video starts, there is an image. So click on the plus sign and here you can drag and drop your images or click on upload files. I already uploaded the images. So let me use this image and click on select. So next I click on the plus sign and add a heading widget. Let me change the text to banana and the HTML tag to H1. Now let's go to style, click on typography. I'm going to give it a size of 166, transform to uppercase, and I'm going to change the color to white. Next, let me click on the plus sign, and I'm just going to drag a button underneath. Change the text to learn more, and it's all looking great, but now we want to add a video in the background. And if you remember, this is the video I added because we want a video that matches our branding. And go back to WordPress admin, then go to media. So this is my video and I'm just going to copy the URL. Then I go back to my page I was editing, select my main container, then style, background. And here in the video background, you see video link. So I'm just going to paste the link here and there you go. You can see our video is already playing and if I click publish. There you go. Here is our page, beautiful and impactful, especially if you compare it to this. Still looking good, but nowhere near this. And the thing is, we can make it look even better. Let me show you. Basically, I added two more containers. You don't have to do this, but it's just if you want to spice up your design a little bit. And if you want to know more about Elementor, we have a full free course here on the channel. Once again, you don't have to do this. It's really just more eye candy. But now, once you do this, one thing that is important is how is it going to behave in tablet mode or mobile mode? So for that, I select my left container, then go to advanced, scroll down where you see responsive, and you want to hide it on tablet and on mobile. And you want to do the same thing for the right container, advanced, responsive, and you want to hide both on tablet and mobile. Now, let me just hit on publish. And now if I go to the front end, as you can see, here is our beautiful page. And if I go into mobile mode, as you can see, it's looking beautiful. And we don't see this left and right container, but look at how gorgeous this is. And if you want to see the tablet version, there you go. Beautiful. The key here is the simplicity of the videos. Unified background, a beautiful magnified subject, and it works whether in desktop, tablet, or mobile. This is really the kind of difference that will make your visitor want to stick a little bit longer on your website and you get another chance to convince them to perform an action like buying your product or joining your newsletter. So whether you use your own images, professional images, AI or a mix of all of that, the key here is to simplify and just make your hero section more eye candy. This way you will make a lasting first impression on your website visitors. Now, if you want more design advice, just let me know in the comments what you would like to learn next.